Let it be your body simple, cause you only have one body in this world, for real. So keep your health right from all the illnesses not to be killed. We need to build ourselves instead of medical collections to get our trust from our limbless bodies into conformity. Stop going with these witch doctors that are not benefiting for your survival and not giving your damn health for your anatomy. It's time for everyone to get serious with themselves, for each individual to be free from the illnesses and be able to heal themselves with no external help. You need to keep yourselves right and your mind strong and tight because your health in the hospital minimum is not going to give you the right results for your fucking health. Let it be your body simple because you only have one body in this world, for real. So keep your health right from all the illnesses not to be killed. Stop working and stressing because you're catching an anxiety breakdown attack. That's all inside your very own stuff to be resolved. There's no more real doctors to care about your attorney external health. They all only want is every day for one okay paycheck. Get off on vacation while millions to die each day of cancerous health. These government officials are playing with our lives like it's a gaslight puppet monumental gang show. Killing us up in all distraction looks on all of my hamster wheels. That fucking with us only to get richer and richer. Or we're just getting poorer and poorer. Let it be your body simple, cause you only have one body in this world, for real. So keep your health right from all the illnesses not to be killed. Herbal remedies and organic vitamin are the key to a healthy mind, body, and spirit, but only if you are truly about it, because you have truly followed to your own deadly, dangerous, deadly habits. Gain only but positivity in your life and others around you will want to see in your own skill, your own success, until you fully heal to your own tracing and still world straight up right. You are only fully berated your own enemies at your own clear, critical times of deliverance. Full on self sick and God and elevate your own self-help. This week marks three years since the World Health Organization officially declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Since then, more than a million Americans have lost their lives to the virus, and we're still averaging about 2,000 deaths every week. But protective measures have largely disappeared. Even some hospitals here in New York are no longer requiring masks. And that's a serious concern for people at high risk for serious illness and death from COVID. Let it be your body simple, because you only have one body in this world, for real. So keep your health right from all the illnesses not to be killed. We need to build ourselves instead of medical collections to get our trust from our limbless bodies into conformity. Stop going with these witch doctors that are not benefiting for your survival and not giving you your damn health for your anatomy. It's time for everyone to get serious with themselves, for each individual to be free from the illnesses and be able to heal themselves with no external help. You need to keep yourselves right and your mind sharp and tight because your health in the hospital minute man is not going to give you the right results for your fucking health. Let it be your body simple because you only have one body in this world, for real. So keep your health right from all the illnesses is not to be killed. And so what is the biggest concern here for people at high risk? It was a really interesting conversation because you look at somebody like Stephanie, she's got a pre-existing heart condition, kidney condition. She also takes a medication that suppresses her immune system. So not only is it easier for her to get a virus than the average person, it also would hit her harder if she got the thing. And yet she goes around at this point into her local grocery store. Fewer, fewer people are wearing masks, right? Even at her local pharmacy, no one seems to be wearing a mask. No one seems to be protecting each other because a lot of people in this country, we've sort of decided, eh, like it's time to move on as if COVID is not rapidly circulating amongst the population when it still very much is. And so to somebody like Stephanie, even though we're living, in, you know, the last year has been the, the fewest deaths of this pandemic, she actually feels less safe than ever before because she doesn't feel like there's anyone besides her. And a lot of disability advocates feel this way. That they're sort of the only ones acting as if COVID is around them. Now, Tate says that she feels like we're living in 2019 rather than 2023. What does she mean?